Five investigates with new evidence in a decades-old case, a suspicious death half a world away. We first told you about a Massachusetts man's efforts to get justice for his brother. Now he's speaking with our Karen Anderson from Australia about the new developments. We really want to know uh, what happened to Scott. Steve Johnson speaking to us from Australia, where he's been watching an unprecedented two weeks of hearings called a coroner's inquest, investigating the 1988 death of his brother. We're hoping that once the coroner reaches a verdict on the manner of Scott's death, that those leads can be investigated afterwards and, and we may actually end up solving the case. Scott Johnson was 27 years old when his body was found at the bottom of a cliff near Australia's Manly Beach. Police at the time told Steve his brother had committed suicide. They added, to me, did you know he was homosexual? As if that should explain it. Now, for the first time, the public heard testimony from gang members who used to roam gay hangouts, beating and killing gay men. One of those hangouts, the top of the cliff where Scott's body was found. To hear actual gang members who are in their 40s and 50s take the stand and talk about uh, how they uh, used to go to these areas where gay men would be and assault them, beat them up, kick them, rob them uh, because they hated them uh, in many cases is really tough uh, to hear. There was no direct evidence to show if Scott was murdered, but there's little doubt in Steve's mind. He's hoping the hearing will lead to Scott's death being ruled a homicide. Former Attorney General Martha Coakley is also in Australia, part of the team working on Scott's case. We've had uh, people walk in off the street or call, and that has been helpful information in this case. We're going to probably still continue to need that kind of public cooperation if we are ever going to solve uh, how Scott died. I think Scott was very idealistic. Uh, he'd be very unhappy and chagrined um, at how, how quickly his case was dispensed with back in 1988, but I think pleased with the process we're seeing now. Steve also hopes this hearing will lead to a better understanding of the circumstances of Scott's death, including the attitudes and violence of the times. And if it's determined Scott was killed, he hopes the New South Wales police will work harder to solve the murder. Even after 30 years, he believes a killer could be caught. Karen Anderson. Anderson 5 investigates.